Okay, so we've got one of the premium mockups here. We're just going to see if we can tweak things and maybe apply a different label and update the bottle slightly. So I'll show you how to do that. So when we come in here, we can see that everything is just in the, the one smart layer here. It's called mockup in here. The reason it's in one big smart layer is so that we can have smart filters applied to the whole whole mockup. So in this case, we've got a lens effect going on. So if I double click this, opens up this dialog box, just click OK. Now we have a new tab that's opened. So once I've made changes here, if I save, it will apply in the, in the final version. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and change the label. So if I click on the label group here, so we've got some tags here. So we've got this one here, label, reflections, blur, controls, gloss. So this is the reflections on the label. And as it says, the blur controls the gloss. So if I put it up, it looks very matte. If I bring it lower, you get more shiny. So there it is. Let's have it quite shiny like that, like a, it's a gloss label. For the actual label, we double click on the, the layer that says label goes here. Once again, click OK. I've prepared a few here, so let's go for, just got this little black example here, but obviously you'll be bringing in your own labels, you know, things like that. And you have to move them around and jiggle them a little bit, but you can get them into the correct position. Hit save. There you go, it's now it's applied into the mockup. Okay, so that looks good. Um, let's see for the let's say for the lid. Let's see how to black lid. So if I open the group that says lid color, double click the color selector, make this black. There we go. Looks good. For the pills, maybe make these white. Let's have white pills. I might be a little bit too white, so I'll bring them to a slight off-white color. There you go, click OK. You can hide them as well, I can just hide the whole group, but I'm going to have them in this one. Again, blur controls gloss, so I can double click on this calcium blur, make them a bit more matte or a bit more shiny. Let's go for some matte pills in this one. There we go. The bottle, yeah. Same again, open the group, and there's a color selector. So I'll just, uh, let's see, I'll just have to pick a color in the scene. That's kind of interesting with the background color. Just make it black for now. Maybe a off-white color, maybe. Let's go for that. Let's go for black. Black, black looks good with this label. We, again, this is something that's kind of handy with these, is if you've got a label design and you're still not settled on the final package and you can sort of see how it's going to play with different different colored Colored bottles. I quite like black with this one. Okay, let's close that. This one's interesting. This is the, the bottle and lid reflections. So if I open this group, we've got a tab here for reflection color, a little color selector. So we can have a black bottle, but we can have sort of reddish reflections in this case. Or I can have something that matches the background. So if you've got a colored background like this one, you can get interesting colors right there on the reflections. Speaking of background, I can go in. Again, we've got a color selector here. So we can pick the different colors for the background. You can also hide the uh, studio environment here. So we can see that there's a, a gradient being applied right there. So I can show that if I made this pure white, we can see that the background is still a bit gray here from the studio environment. So if this was to go on Amazon, for example, you could remove this studio environment and have it pure white. Obviously, if we had that there, the, the blue reflections on the, the label don't work, so on the bottle, sorry. So let's just go ahead and make these, make them pure white, they stand out, or you can make them black and they're very sort of dark. So pick some sort of in the middle like that, I think. There we go. That looks good. Okay. And now to save all of this, if I just do Control S, hit save. There we go. Now if we go back to the other tab, here we go. This is the one with the lens filters applied. It's probably hard to see what the lens filters do, but if I zoom right in, right here, we can see that it's adding a slight bit of chromatic aberration right there. We see like the purple fringe around the edge. Obviously you can enable or disable, that's your own preference, but once ready just hit save and then should all be good.